Did you all of a sudden get a bright red patch on the white of your eye and it looks super scary and dangerous? Well, I'm here to discuss all of that in this video. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist, and on this channel we talk about eye health, eye surgery, and eye makeup health. So if any of that interests you, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can follow along and get these eye health videos straight away as soon as I make them. All right, what is this scary thing? Likely if you are watching this video, this recently happened to you and you are nervous as to what it means. Well, the reassuring part is this is not dangerous and it is not vision threatening. This is called a subconjunctival hemorrhage. And what it is, is a broken blood vessel underneath the white part of your eye, the conjunctiva. It is scary looking. I get so many text messages from friends and family when this happens in lots of pictures of people's eyes looking like this, which is why I have so many. <laughs> but the reassuring part, as I mentioned, you can stop watching the video right now because it is not dangerous. Why do you get this? Well, there's a lot of different reasons to get it. Most commonly, it's caused by anything that's going to increase the intra-abdominal pressure. So coughing violently, sneezing violently, if you're constipated, if you are lifting something really heavy, all of those things can cause these blood vessels to break. Sometimes if you are on a blood thinner like aspirin or you've been taking a lot of Motrin or Advil or ibuprofen for muscle pain or cramps, those things can cause your blood to thin and can make a subconjunctival hemorrhage more likely. Similarly, if you have medical problems like diabetes or high blood pressure, you're also a little bit more predisposed to developing these subconjunctival hemorrhages. Now, sometimes some people just wake up one morning with it, which can totally happen. It can be idiopathic, meaning there's no particular cause. And also you can get them from trauma if there is some kind of injury to the eye. So 99% of the time, if you don't remember any trauma and you weren't hit in the eye or punched and nothing flew into the eye, then you know that this is something you can just watch and observe and you don't have to get really nervous about it. But if you were hit in the eye or think that something might have flown in, you absolutely must see your eye doctor right away. So what happens with a subconjunctival hemorrhage? Well, thankfully, it's also nothing that really causes any kind of symptoms. Some people might feel like they feel something in their eye. And then usually that's because if there's a lot of blood, it's actually elevating the layer on top of it. And so it's actually making your eyes a little bit dry. So the best thing to do is just use an artificial teardrop. You don't need to do anything else. You absolutely do not need to use any anti-redness drops. They're not really going to help. But an artificial teardrop is just going to soothe the eye and help distribute the tears across the surface. Think about it like this. If you had like a mountain and your eyelid is trying to blink and it's trying to distribute the tears across the surface, but because you've got this mound, the subconjunctival hemorrhage, like a little mountain, it's not allowing the tears to distribute evenly across the surface of the eye. And that's why you feel kind of like the eye doesn't feel as great. Maybe it might feel like there's something in it or gritty or even just dry. And so using the artificial teardrops helps. All right, how long is it going to take to go away? Well, it's just like any other bruise. So first, don't be scared if you notice you wake up one day with the red patch and then it seems to be spreading. That's really common as it starts to heal, it dissipates amongst the fascial planes of the eye. So that's nothing to be nervous about. And eventually it's going to change colors, just like a bruise, yellow, green, etc. And it's going to eventually get to that off-white color, but it can take a couple weeks to resolve completely. And especially if you are on blood thinners for medical reasons, or you have these underlying medical problems that may make your blood vessels a little more fragile, it might take you a little longer for the hemorrhage to resolve completely. But again, it is not worrisome and it's not dangerous. You absolutely do not need to stop your blood thinners if you're using them, if your doctor recommends you keep using them, or if you're on a muscle relaxant for neck pain like I've been on for the last several days. 
you don't need to stop it because of the subconjunctival hemorrhage. The blood is not going to cause any kind of blindness or problem with the eyes. So I hope that reassures you guys that what you've got is nothing to be too concerned about unless you have that history of trauma. And if so, like I mentioned, go make that appointment with your eye doctor. If you've had a subconjunctival hemorrhage, drop it in the comments below. How long did it take for it to go away and what, what caused it, if you know? I'd love to hear you guys share your stories. And if you have any other topics you would be interested in me talking about, please drop those in the comments below. I definitely read every single comment and we'll try to start really addressing these in videos. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. If you wouldn't mind taking just a minute to hit that subscribe button, follow along, Check out some of my other videos on eye health that you might be interested in. I would be really appreciative. Once again, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.